Hey y'all, welcome back. I've been doing a lot of photo drives outside of my immediate area a lot lately, going to various state parks and such. They've been really wonderful, but I really wanted to show that beauty can really be found anywhere in one of these videos, so here we are. I mainly wanted to focus on staying close to where I live. I tried to stay mostly in my county, but I ended up going just like one county over, but the point remains the same. So I loaded up my go-to Canon Rebel 2000 with this 50 millimeter 1.8 lens attached with it, loaded up some Fuji 400, and then we hit the road. The first stop on my drive today was San Velasco Hammock State Park. It's like a pretty large park located between Gainesville and Alachua. I've been to the south entrance of the park before, but being that it's so large, I wanted to go see the north entrance, and that's where I ended up. I find the history of state parks to be fascinating, so I always try to give a little bit of it if I can. Historically, the preserve had been inhabited by Native Americans for thousands of years. Artifacts found here indicate that there had been people living here probably since 8000 BCE. Within the park is believed to be the mission site of the 17th century San Francisco de Potona. And something I found very interesting is the source of the name, San Velasco, has been traced to the constant mispronunciation of the words San Francisco by the early settlers and Native Americans who lived here. You whip up my appetite. I often find it hard to get decent photos of trees inside a forest like this. The biggest takeaway is usually making sure there's enough negative space to really make sure your eyes can clearly see that there are trees and it's not just a massive wall of green. I actually really like this photo. The sign and field you see here is basically the first thing you see when entering the north entrance of this park. I thought the saying, welcome to the real Florida on the sign with the beautiful field and that tree line in the back would be a really, really awesome subject. My next stop was the city of Alachua. It's a tiny little town that you'd probably miss if you didn't get off the highway. The historic district has some really beautiful houses like this one. I am genuinely always drawn to architecture, especially older, unique houses like these. This tower on the house basically demanded that I take a photo of it, and so I had to. The lighting on the tower and the clear blue sky almost gives this photo a sort of painterly look, and that's something I really like. After walking around the town a little bit, I decided I was pretty hungry, and there was a one of my favorite burger places in the area, Bev's Better Burgers, is right up the road. Truly, there's nothing better than one of those quick serve burger places that just knocks it out of the park every single time. Up next was the town of High Springs. Usually this town exists for me as a place to just kind of drive through as I'm on my way to go out to Itchitugny Springs or any of the other springs that are out here. But this time I wanted to stop and really see what was here. The lighting of this photo is really nice, with one side of the building being completely illuminated while the other is in shadow. It's got a very, very clean look to it. If you watched my channel before, y'all already know I'm a sucker for water towers. To me, this photo gives off as a very specific energy, the type that reads, in 50 years, this photo will be in the town museum as a, remember what the city used to look like? That type of moment.
this gazebo is actually on the edges of the high springs sinkhole nothing like this type of thing to really remind you that florida is just sitting on a vast network of caves filled with water After heading out of town, I hit Post Springs County Park. This park is actually run by Alachua County. It's not a state park. And this is basically the edge of the county. I've never been here before, but my friends are always talking about it. So I definitely wanted to check it out while I was out here. This is one of my favorite photos of the trip. I really like the sense of scale that the one person in the springs gives. Just really sets the mood for the whole thing and that's something I'm always going for. If you're not hanging out on the banks of a river, what is the point of anything? Up next was basically the next door neighbor to Post Springs, which is Gilchrist Blue Springs State Park. That's a mouthful. This park is actually Florida's newest state park. So a little history of this park. In 1958, Ed Wright bought his fiance Ruth Kirby an engagement gift that was very unique. The actual springs that Ruth really liked to swim at. These springs. Ed passed away in 1969, leaving Ruth to be the inheritor of his like $50 million estate. She was tasked with selling off most of the land and property, but ended up keeping basically just two pieces of property, these springs included. And then finally in 2017, Ruth's family sold the springs to the state of Florida so that the area could become a state park and it was renamed ruth b kirby gilcrest blue spring state park an even bigger mouthful <laughs> than what i thought it was I didn't stick around this park as it was really, really hot uh, by this point in the day. And I wanted to hit another spot or two before I got too worn out. Next up for me was this little town called Trenton, but on the way I found this graveyard of semi-trailers. Very weird, but very cool. I had never been to Trenton before, even passing through it. So of course I had to do a little bit of exploration. I saw this ice machine and immediately had to pull over. I really love this photo. The colors are so vibrant and the power lines crossing across the top just give it that nice little extra touch. My last stop of the trip was the town of Newberry, this town actually being back in Alachua County and only about 15 minutes away from the Gainesville city limits. I am 
finishing up my day here. I'm in Newberry, uh, Florida right now. I've got one more soda in my roll, and this is my last stop of my planned out trip today, so I'm gonna see what I can find. This is a decent photo. I wish I had backed up a little bit more to give a little bit more headroom to the building, but otherwise a cool photo. The mattress in the back is a nice little detail. This was a really nice trip and I had a really wonderful time. It's always easy to fall into the trap of, oh, all my favorite photographers that I follow live in these cool places and they get to see all these cool things and that's how they produce so much cool work. And if I lived there, I would be a great photographer because I would have all this interesting subject matter and people would love my photos more. I really do think it's important to see what's around you in the same way that they do. They just happen to live in a different area. Every place has something unique that others would be jealous of, including these little small towns in Florida. This is not something you get really anywhere else. But anyways, thank you for watching the channel and supporting my photography. Your support always means the world to me. And if you're interested in seeing more, please subscribe to the channel. That's the best way of keeping up to date with what I'm doing and it helps support me. It helps get the videos and my photography out in front of more people. If more people are subscribed, you know how, you know how the algorithm works and thanks again. And I'll see y'all next time.